Running a journal club is one of the most important things that we do in our lab. And um, first I'd like to tell you what we do and why I think this is successful and then offer some advice on why uh, we think our journal club works pretty well. So first of all, we have two lab meetings every week, one and a half hours each. One is a journal club and the other one is a data club. And um, basically, I want to talk about only this uh, journal club that we have where we discuss papers together. The data club is for people to present results that they have obtained or to introduce themselves to the group or to introduce new research ideas. And I'm not going to talk about that because it's a separate meeting in our lab. So first of all, how do I gauge success of these meetings? I gauge success by the number of contributions from people to this lab meeting, um, the number of people that contribute to the discussion. Now with online mode, it's uh, via the chat function. And um, we also have additionally a pre-meeting online document where people, if they, for example, miss this meeting or don't want to speak out in the meeting itself, can make um, notes in advance of the meeting that then can be uh, brought into the discussion of the actual meeting. And so by that, um, people actually pretty broadly participate in the meetings and I book that under success. The second is that I have noticed that even though when people don't actively participate in the meeting, they still basically use the meeting to like help them find literature for a paper that they're writing. I see that they are citing the papers that we read and discussing them in their own work. So I know um, that these papers basically that we read together had an effect, even though maybe these people themselves did not actively contribute to the discussion. So I also regard that as a success. The third point is over the years, we've had a number of papers that have come directly out of these lab discussions and have been published in peer-reviewed journals. And that is, of course, the most, well, direct measure of, of success in terms of contributing to productivity of the lab. And as a measure of success for me personally, I would not read a lot of these papers to the level of detail that I read them when I know they're going to be discussed in the lab meeting on Mondays. So that helps me basically work through papers in a lot greater detail than I otherwise would. And also every single time I learn something from the discussion with the group at large, because there's so many different viewpoints that I, I basically never thought of all these points when we discuss a paper. And there hasn't been one instance where there wasn't um, something that I learned. So for me, this is personally also enriching, not just for the group. So those are sort of the, the overviews of why I think that our lab meeting is, is successful, which doesn't mean that it couldn't be better. I'm sure it could, but I think as far as lab meetings go, it's, um, this one is a pretty good one. What are impediments and challenges? Um, pretty much three. The first and most important one is that, of course, there's always many tasks that compete for time, for people's time in the lab. And so they may ask themselves, do I really need to go and do this meeting and spend another one and a half hours of my time? It's three hours basically every week where I can't be doing lab work or analyzing data. And uh, yes, this does take time and it does take people to take the active decision to go to these meetings and participate. This also takes time for me, of course, the time that I'm there and the time that I'm spending reading the papers in advance of the meeting and even picking the papers, of course, also takes time. So it competes with, um, well, time with other tasks that we have to carry out. And that is basically one of the biggest obstacles to overcome. A second challenge is picking actually these papers uh, that should be, well, they're never going to be equally interesting to all people, but as much as possible, that is the goal. Uh, because people work on different topics in the lab. And so it's hard to find papers that really fit that bill. And the third challenge is how to manage these discussions so that they don't get out of hand, so that there's not people um, sort of dominating discussion and so that we have fairly broad participation. And that is sort of a day-to-day -day challenge in the meeting and is sort of just uh, establishing, a certain, establishing a certain uh, culture in the lab so that that does not become a problem. And so what are the four points that I think that are important in determining the success of our 
journal club. The first one is maybe the most important one, making clear how important this is to you as the PI. And that is very simply done by always being there, uh, by being prepared and by also making it a scheduling priority. So I basically schedule things around this lab meeting, not the other way around. So this lab meeting always has a certain um, priority in, in my schedule. So um, because I think if it basically transpires that it's not so important to you, then I'm not sure you will be able to get people to buy in to that lab meeting and invest the time. So uh, it is very important to me. I think it's one of the best things that we do as a lab and I make that clear periodically. The second is picking papers that are interesting, new, controversial, exciting, enriching, sometimes also outside our immediate area of interest. So they bring in new thoughts and new ideas. Um, it's a mix of review paper, opinion papers, conceptual papers, original primary literature papers as well. And um, I pick the papers every week. Of course, I take suggestions from people that we collect in a separate channel in our um, communication tool that we use in the lab. But in the end, I take the responsibility for picking this paper. We read one every week. Um, one focus, uh, the initial focus is to critique the paper, to find what's good and what's um, not so good about a paper. That's, I think, important in order to um, gauge the importance of this paper and how well it was performed. Uh, sometimes maybe it gets a little bit out of hand, it's in the nature of things. But then we always make time for a section in the end that asks, what does that mean for us? What, what, how can we use this information to do better research ourselves? Or how can we use this insight in our own research so it sort of becomes more forward-looking and more productive than just um, a critique of the paper itself? I think that's also important. And the fourth point is seize on opportunities to turn thoughts that arise during the meeting into actual manuscripts, because that most powerfully highlights that this time spent in these meetings is actually used productively. As I mentioned earlier, of course, it's also productive in the sense that it brings people into this literature so they can actually use it later on, and that's also good. But it is more convincing even when the lab meeting itself directly contributes to productivity in the sense of published papers. Good luck with your journal clubs and I think they're a lot of fun.